Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. This is Umaira Said with the lecture number 7 of the business communication. And the topic we are going to discuss today is the speaking skill. So, before discussing the speaking skill, let's take the tour of the previous communication topic in which we discussed that there are basically the four types of communication and the four basic communication skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing. And we elaborated it that the two are the active and the two are the passives and the actives and the, uh, are those in which you have to uh, most initiate yourself to read. Uh, to write and to speak in which your own energy is utilized whereas the passives are those who are dependent on the listening and the reading of the material which has been provided by the uh, speaker. So, so speaking is uh, one of the active skill and it has been said that 16 percent, 16 percent of our whole, of our daily life like if uh, we have in a daily life of 24 hours in which we like 14 hours we used to spend uh, in waking up as many of the people have the sleeping average of 6 hours per day. So 16 percent of our whole day the regular life is dependent upon the speaking. It means that our most part is dependent upon the listening and speaking is not less because in the 16 percent you not only speak but it also involves some kind of an you know, facial gestures your expressions you know when you speak your facial expression your non-verbal communication also help to make your uh, speak more authentic and more valuable so that is why uh, speaking is highly dependent upon your uh, facial expression gest gestures and sometimes with the eye contact or with the audience or with the students in the class so next uh, start uh, with the Bacon who was a famous medieval uh, prose writer and once he said that the reading ma makes a, man, a full man whereas the writing makes an exact man and conference and the speaking makes a ready man. So if you have an ability and if you have a knowledge and if you have a grip over the subject then you would have an ample knowledge to communicate with the people. So for the drawing room discussion, for, make, for taking the parts in the debate, for, for making an effective and very persuasive speaking, you must have some background knowledge about the topic and that is very much essential nowadays. So let's uh, move the topic further that there are our speaking is further divided into three parts and the percentages I am going to write is 7%. 38 percent and 55 percent. Now you will be amazed that why I am writing these percentages. So student this 7 percent is totally dependent upon the oral communication. Like orally we just communicate 7 percent. These 38 percent are highly dependent upon your non-verbal expressions. And these 55 percent are dependent upon your postures, your eye contact and sometimes your sense of security and sense of credibility you are, de you are like uh, developing among the others so that they may rely on you is 55 percent. So these percentages shows that our oral communication is highly dependent upon our non-verbal communication as we discussed. So if you need I may repeat once again that the non-verbal communication is your time, the silence, the space, your gestures, your postures, your eye contact, the way you are standing, the, the clothes you are wearing, uh, whatever you have it shows and reflects your internality of your personality is sometimes comes out with when you uh, behave and when you wear something or whatever you have in internal it will be exposed externally is said to be the non-verbal communication. So why should we speak? So there are the three basic parts of the speech. Parts of speaking uh, I used to categorize it into three I like why, what and how. So these are the three basic elements on the basis of which a speech is basically dependent upon. So students, why should we speak? There must be some purpose of speaking. Without purpose, if you speak, your words will be wasted, your message will not be understood and it will be like goes into the trash. So there must be a purpose and purpose will talk must have some topic, topic and the background knowledge as well. So whenever you speak, on a topic you must have on a purpose like you want to convince some other 
persuade some other or you want you are negating someone in a debate or you are like affirmating someone in your speech so this is the purpose of speaking the second is what what to speak that is the point when i used to ask the questions in the class the students don't know what to answer simply they don't know that why teacher is asking and what they have to speak it means that the background knowledge and the command over the subject is very important suppose if you are initiating some kind of a you know, debate or uh, if you are initiating some a uh, speech it it will turn into the tug of the war if you would have a very weak uh, advocating points so try to be have uh, try if you want to support a point if you want to make your people uh, make the uh, make your people more convinced and persuade so th and want you to have your own groups of the people then you must have a command over the uh, over the your subject how to speak these are the manners so there are so many do's and the don'ts of the speaking for the public speaking for the personal speaking for the speaking to the general audiences or the people of the different ages it will discuss in the end part of this lecture because there are so many do's and the don'ts of lecture there are the three e's of lecture as well oh it is going to be very exciting like what are the three e's e's the purpose of speaking is to entertain someone the purpose of speaking is to make it more effective the purpose of speaking is to be more enthusiastic it means that all those e's are highly dependent and in all these e's must be in your language and in your speaking like there must be some it like if you will continuously speaking like it will your, your speech will become a stagnant water and the stagnant water never attracts other so make your speech uh, speech more flowing and with a more innovative and uh, more novel ideas there must be some, you ha, you it is very much necessary nowadays to kill the boredom in your speech you must crack some kind of an a positive jokes something which creates some fun in the class because it's this kind of an a fun sometimes attract the uh, attract the pupil and disciples as well and they try to you know, listen more and more to their uh, perceptor the third is the effectivity how you can make your speech more effective when you involve in your speaking when you involve your audience in your speaking if it will be uh, unilateral the people will get bored it will be like they are they are watching television or they are like listening to the radio but if you will involve the students in the class if you involve the people around you in the conversation so it will be a healthy discussion and it will never end in any kind of an a conflict so try to be make your speech more conflict and nowadays it has been said that if you having if you are more political nowadays if you have more political bent of the mind then you must have a strong background knowledge about the politics if you are speaking sporting one of the leader then do not uh, sport him uh, with one eye with the open two eyes come up with the sporting points come up with the neg negating points and try to uh, try to solve the problem and try to end up or wrap the uh, uh, your discussion with the healthy notes rather than uh, ending it with some kind of a conflicts enthusiastic uh, you know my dear students sometimes when i see uh, you people or the people in the class i find that the many of the people are very much hesitant in speaking the reason because they feel that if we speak english the people will mock at us they will laugh at us you know there is always the first light in the life so if you want to be more if you want to be a good speaker first of all then you must have the fluency in your language if you are not fluent in english no problem more work more and more on your language it will be one day you will be fail the second day you will be fail the third day you will be uh, more energetic and you will get more uh, um, uh, you will be more take more initiative and you will be more convinced to speak more and more you know once i was reading a thing that fail means first attempt in learning so uh, so also so few failures lead to the success or to the road of success so if you want to be successful try to be fail on the initial stages it will give you more power to get the high stage 
so uh, enthusiasm in the speech sometimes also enthusiasm uh, also in, uh, create enthusiasm in your audiences as well because uh, they feel that they are uh, they are also involved that they are also enjoying the pitch many of you are familiar with the football commentary with the hockey commentary sometimes uh, the cricket commentary or the kabaddi commentary the s as the two people if there is there is a need of a six the commentator used to create a hype in the blood of the listeners and the audiences even at the spectators as well that when it, when the shahid afridi uh, hit six the all the people at the at home used to uh, cry over the same thing like the people in the stadium so it means that the enthusiasm is very much necessary if you want to uh, make your audiences involved when you are speaking and if you want them to listen you so you must have an enthusiastic word ever as well so next is speak like a star the star which used to shine on the sky star the sparkling and the twinkling star so what this star stands for it will be so uh, excited excited for you that the that the s is that there must be some kind of a situation if you have an a situation it means that now there is a need for you to speak now there must be there will be a situation then there will be a kind of an a task the situation has been created and you have an a target to achieve that then there must have an an attitude attitude has its own uh, psychology and has its own depth though there are two kinds of an attitude positive and the negative attitude negative attitude used to turn everything into negative and the positive vibes in you and the positivity in you sometime make everything positivity positive around you so stay positive think positive see positive and there will be positivity around you because the negative if you see with the negative lens everything will be turned into blue and black so the last is reserve so no the things are very clear if you get into into some kind of a worse situation the task is to come out of that situation show the positive attitude and the result will be the positive and now see it with the negative lens if the situation is bad and you and your your task is to come out of that but you are not ready to come out of that because of your low uh, low because you are not willing to complete the task then your attitude is negative and the result will be uh, against or not the wishful and it will not desired result so it means that the speaking like a star behaving like a star listening and writing like a star and living like a star is very much important so my dear students there are three different kinds of the speaking as well so note down as i mentioned interactive partial interactive and the non interactive what are the interactive interactive means when you interact with another person it is a kind of interpersonal communication when you are communicating with the person in the class in the drawing room at home on road in your institute in your offices like there is a face to face communication when you go for the interview that is an interactive communication as well when you are going for the upward and the downward communication for the horizontal communication it will be some Uh, interactive communication because you are communicating you are sending the messages and re- getting the response and the feedback and the process is continuing continuously uh, happening and occurring so this is a interactive what is the partial interactive the partial interactive means that the one person is speaking and others are listening they will participate a bit but not more than that it means that suppose if i am speaking in the class if your father is speaking at home if your boss is lecturing you if there is a kind of an a meeting if a, a motivational speaker is speaking uh, and giving you uh, addre- and addressing on some particular topic or some politician is addressing a ho- uh, addressing the mass audience it means that is a partial interactive you cannot stop his speech you cannot give him uh, give him any you cannot counsel him you cannot give any give him any suggestion so it is a partial interaction there will be interaction but it is not necessary that you will be allowed to interrupt him the third is the non interactive non interactive means when you are reading a newspaper a message is be- be- been given to you so you cannot include any more thing in that newspaper 
while, uh, while listening to the announcers or the radio or the television, the message has been disseminating to you, but you cannot include anything. You are just bound to listen to them. It means that kind of the speaking is the non-interactive speaking and uh, sometimes people prefer to have an interactive speaking because the, if you interact more people your learning will be more enhanced and you will get more and more good responses and your knowledge will be enhanced as well so now the last point of the today is the do's and the don'ts of the speaking what are the don'ts while you are a public speaker addressing to the public addressing in the class so there are the few don'ts like uh, while uh, speaking into the class never get hesitate never get embarrassed if you speak something which is not relevant uh, never while uh, speaking into the class never uh, try to look here and there try to be more interactive and make the eye contact with your audiences never scratch your arms never scratch your head while speaking if you are uh, uh, and try to be more confident and try to sit straight or stand straight uh, try to be more bilingual if you have no command over the one language that will make your and boost up your confidence as well and what are the do's uh, do's are have a smiley face uh, more enthusiastic uh, and more entertaining more positivity more energy before going and addressing the people do uh, come up with the breakfast uh, empty tummy sometimes bring the empty mind as well so these are the uh, on the funny notes like if you have an empty uh, tummy definitely uh, the mind will be empty as well because the happy tummy and the full belly will sometimes come up with the full ideas and uh, that is a philosophy and inshallah we will discuss this philosophy later in the class or maybe in some other se uh, session so your uh, assignments will be provided in your whatsapp group so keep in touch with your crs and grs follow the video lectures see you with the lecture number eight stay home stay safe take care allah hafiz